Terry Brown. Miller still can't buy a bucket. They're not getting any kind of offensive rebound. Now they're a little tired right now, Jim. I think Kentucky's showing the strain of playing this fast-paced ball game. Kansas is substituting much more liberally. Belldowns can't buy a three, and Randall now gets the rebound, drops it off to Pritchard, and I believe Kentucky's also out of timeouts. Roy's team is racking it up. 117 to 79. And Randall had another handle on a rebound. Feldhaus throws up a brick charging against Feldhaus. And that's four on Darren Feldhaus. Take a look at it again. You'll see him put his shoulder down into Mark Randall. Watch this. Freeman West goes to the bench. He has six points in a relief roll this afternoon on three or four shooting and five rebounds. Pritchard picked up by Farmer goes to Callaway. And we'll have another foul against Kentucky. And Feldhaus should be gone. They're going to wave again. That'll be three players gone off Rick Patino's club. Take a look at it again. Watch Kansas get the ball up the floor in a hurry. Callaway goes in. Feldhaus leans in. It's called for the block. Hey, you shouldn't feel too sorry for Kentucky, Jim. It's just a matter of time with a high-profile coach like Rick Pitino and a rich basketball tradition like Kentucky has. They bleed Kentucky blue back in the Bluegrass State, and Kentucky will be back on its feet. Rick Patino just looked at John Pelfrey, who's checking into the game. He says, how many you got? Pelfrey said four. And Rick kind of shook his head and sent him back into the game. He does not have a big bench. Rick Calloway, four out of four in the first half from the strike. Has 14. Well, the Hawks have scored 127 points. It was against Iowa State in January of this year. On the way to that as Callaway picks up his 15th and makes it 118 to 79 Jayhawks. I mean, a lot of Jayhawks padding their scoring average after this ball game. Hawks lead at 39. Statistician Barry Lawson's projected a 40 point advantage for KU and this one's over. Farmer and he trims that down to 36. Farmer with four three point buckets. Drop off. Markin and can't get it on a little delay hook. And we tell you ball out of bounds. Well, Rick Pitino set the stage for this ball game and the kind of tempo he wanted to play and Kansas obliged here this afternoon. No question about that. We haven't talked a lot about the defense as a turnover by Kansas. It's Miller had it stripped away by Callaway. Miller lost it out of bounds. KU basketball. And Pekka Markkinen may have pushed Derek Miller and helped him knock that ball out of bounds. Rick Patino looking on, kneeling on a towel. And there are a lot of people talking at halftime about how Patino may have made Larry, or not Larry Brown, excuse me, Roy Williams a little upset by the fact that he did not come out prior to the pregame, prior to the introduction of players and did not was not over there to shake his hand again a lot of the fans talking about let's roll them over and Roy may be wanting to do that I don't know if that's the case but right now Kansas is enjoying a healthy lead Rassau flies it down <laughs> at center court and he's going to go to the hole with it can't get it to drop but he draws the foul off Freeman West
take a look at it again. And there he goes inside, slicing between KU defenders and Freeman West guilty of reaching in. Still a long way to go in this ball game. Kansas leading 118 to 82. Seven minutes and 11 seconds left. Well, Oklahoma beat UNLV today, 89 to 81. They finished a lot closer than it was throughout. Hawks in the second half, 15 to 27 shooting. Freeman West handles the double team as it's knocked out of bounds. West almost turned it over. Hartman goes to Randall. Here's Callaway alone. No whistle. Rick Callaway with the bucket. And Callaway now has 17 points. Six out of 12 shooting for Rick. 120-83 to score. Derek Miller. Blocked by Pekka, his second of the day, and marking it with the loose ball. And here comes Pritchard. Galloway, strong baseline. That was an interesting pass inbound. Brady. Can't get it to go from three. And Callaway and Randall wrestle for the ball. And Rick leads it ahead to Freeman, waiting for somebody to come through. It's Callaway. <laughs> Great teamwork that time from Freeman West to Rick Callaway as Miller finally gets a trade of fall. And Randall's alone at the other end. Pelfrey trying to catch up. <laughs> and look at Roy Williams look down away. And says, give up, Rick. <laughs> he's waiting, for, mind game going he's on waiting here for the sign of submission from Rick Patino before he empties his bench. He's looking at him saying, you had enough, Rick? <laughs> oh, it's great. What's the old famous line that Larry used to say? What goes around comes around, and the fans here at Allen Fieldhouse certainly have not forgotten. He's going back to his bench again, and he knows Patino can't stop it. <laughs> Derek Miller at the free throw line. Where he's three out of three on the day. He's got 31 points now. Team's back with him 39 at 38. And Kentucky brings in Michael Parks. Miller will check out of the ball game. Mike Maddox with 5.37 ago with Honest Jordan. These guys on the floor right now won't let up either. Delmer goes to Randall, kicks it out to Terry Brown. 22 points for downtown Terry Brown. Actually giving 25. Pelfrey, three, short. Randall with another rebound. Delmer, the Maddox. Kansas has set a new team scoring record. The alley oop to Maddox won't go, and Jordan flags it down. Brown will make it 134 to 90. Jordan has Randall wide open. 